Hi there, Laurie here again. Um, this is just a routine case, but I've realised when I look back at my videos that I haven't actually posted a Terrigium case before. This lady had um, discomfort and irritation. Obviously this small Terrigium was not affecting her vision because it's so far away from the uh, optical centre of the cornea. Just bending the 30 gauge needle here to inject some local anaesthetic. She's under sedation, so that. They use the local to obviously anaesthetise the eye but also to balloon up the conjunctiva which helps with uh, dissection. Now I'm injecting superiorly uh, in preparation for har harvesting a graft. I found the most effective way to um, the pterygium from the corneal surface is this simple avulsion technique using a couple of non-toothed forceps, more fields in my left hand and uh, swan neck tying forceps in my right. You'll see there's three, two or three different points of adhesion and once I've uh, peeled or torn that from the surface I then go in with a crescent knife and what I'm trying to do is try to make as smooth a surface as I can in effect trying to maintain Bowman's layer in the original anatomy. Um, you can see that I haven't done any any cutting yet. I'm just doing scraping and pushing and uh, when I do to resume surgery it's a lot of blunt dissection. I'm trying to find the original tissue planes. Vicral stay suture uh, through the paralimbal cornea medially, and with this, I should be able to uh, control the position of the eye. I drape the atovicral across a fragment of a sponge and then clip it with uh, artery forceps. The sponge means that the artery forceps don't cut that suture. Now I've got some temporal traction and I go underneath the conjunctiva here and just push and spread and push and spread. At that point there is where you, if you cut you get a lot of bleeding so I, I'm always very careful not to cut at the, um, the nasal uh, horizontal meridian there. It's a big vessel always. Now I'm putting the relaxing incisions in scarred uh, conjunctiva I need to remove and I'm just slicing that off now. Now for a bit of cautery, I like to have minimal hyperemia post-operatively so I, all these slightly uh, dilated vessels I'll cauterise and obviously blood gets in the way if you're trying to see what you're doing during the surgery as well. Now I'm teasing out the vessels from that uh, horizontal meridian and just cauterizing them as well. Now I'm teasing out some Tenon's capsule from underneath the conjunctiva. I think this is use, uh, useful. Tenon's is very good at contracting post-operatively and dragging the tissues around. So if you don't have it there, I think it's an, an advantage. Episclera can be removed as well. When you're dealing with that superior tenons, you want to be careful you don't drag down the superior oblique muscle. And obviously immediately you're trying to avoid the medial rectus. Now I'm um, distracting the uh, eye inferiorly, in infraducting it with the uh, stay suture. dissection Alex Poon taught me and I found it very useful for dissecting conjunctiva away from tenons. Now when you go doing this oh, sorry I'm just doing that when you get to this part there's two areas 
areas here which are sort of fairly distinct. The area I'm dis dissecting now is peripheral, but there's a two, two millimeter um, ring of conjunctiva that's fairly adherent to the Tenon's capsule. And so if you can separate that as another layer, I'll sometimes then uh, cut between those two areas. Uh, if I can't, I'll just uh, avoid that area and just leave a cuff of uh, two millimeters of conjunctiva uh, at the limbus. Just reflecting back the flap that I've started to create. Often uh, some pushing and sliding can, can further dissect this. This flap's quite reasonably thin, so I'm happy to just um, snip that off and there that's quite generous for the defect it needs, needs to fill. I'll often do a bit more quarter at this stage just in preparation for the passage of my Tenno nylon sutures which are placed at the limbus superiorly and inferiorly. There's the first one going in, intersclera and out through the uh, conjunctiva. I don't tie these tightly cut them long. I've had, I think, one phone call from a patient or a family member 
of a patient who's got a very painful eye after pterygium surgery. So it helps both the patient and me to sleep better to leave them with a bandaged contact lens. I highly recommend that to you. And that's about it. Thanks very much for watching. It's a routine case. It's not tricky or difficult. It's just the way I do it. So I thought I'd share it. Thanks again. Here's a post-op photo with a bit of fluid accumulated under the graft and after suture removal and drainage of the fluid, the patient's quite comfortable at two weeks post-op.